What is up guys and welcome back to another tech -a tutorial. In today's tutorial we'll be going over how to make a mass fabricator. Before we get the ball rolling you're going to need six refined iron, six brown ingots, six tin ingots, as well as 32 coal dust and two machine blocks. Once you have them we're going to need to make mixed metal ingots. You do that by placing refined iron in the top row like so, bronze in the second row, and tin down in the third row which will give us four mixed metal ingots. Next up we need to craft raw carbon fibers which we're going to convert into raw carbon mesh do it just like that now we're going to run down here to this machine real quick our compressor and we're going to let this compress take about a half a second here while that's doing that let me go over here and take a look see how much rubber I got getting ready to work on another project up oh, there's our carbon plates and I will just stick our mixed metal ingots in there Once we have our four advanced alloy and our four carbon plates, we're now ready to make our advanced machine blocks. We do that by placing the machine block in the middle of the crafting grid like so. Advanced alloy like that, and our carbon plates over the top. And that gives us a two advanced machine blocks. We'll get the parts together and we'll get to the next step of making the mass fabricator. Alright, so we're back now. Next up we're going to need to make advanced machine circuits. To do that, first we're going to need to craft circuits. If you don't know how to craft a circuit, you can reference the crafting grid over in the left hand corner. Once you have the materials, place them in the crafting grid like so. And as you can see, that gives us two electric circuits. Next, we'll make the advanced electric circuits. You can reference the crafting grid if you're unclear on how to do this as well. Once you have the materials, stick them in the crafting grid like so. And as you can see, that gives us our two advanced circuits that we're going to need to make the mass fabricator. Alright, so I'm back now. Next up, we're going to need to make a Lapertron crystal. To do that, first we're going to need to make two electric circuits. If you want to, you can reference a crafting grid over in the left-hand corner on how to make them. Once you have the materials, just simply place them in the crafting grid like so. Next up, we'll need to make an energy crystal. You, you can again reference a crafting grid over in the left-hand corner if you feel the need. Once we have that, we're ready to craft the Lapertron crystal. We do that by placing the energy crystal in the middle. Lapis down the side, and then our two electric circuits on top. And as you can see, that gives us our Lapertron crystal. Alright, so now that we've crafted all the pieces we're going to need to make the mass fabricator, we can go ahead and do that. The only other piece of the puzzle we needed was four more pieces of glowstone. Again, if you don't know how to make a mass fabricator, you can reference the crafting grid over here in the left-hand corner. Once you have the materials, place them in the crafting grid like so. And as you can see, that gives us our mass fabricator. Um, we're going to run over here and hook this one up. I actually have one hooked up up here that is producing UU matter as we speak. That's because in the upcoming episodes, we're actually going to need UU matter to make the quantum suit after we get done crafting the nano suit it's called all right so to hook it up we're just gonna hook it up I think we'll actually attempt to have a wire come off of here like so and then we'll hook that up there as you can see it's now per um, the percentage is slowly going up I'm gonna run over here real quick and craft a switch just to show you guys something I like to do when I first make my mass fabricator and I don't have a high voltage solar array to power it on its own as you can see it's draining quite a bit of power if you find it's eating up too much of your power and it's getting into your reserve over here you can always place a switch on the mass fabricator so flipping the switch down will then make it quit producing um, UU matter and this will then again begin to charge I like to have the switch it's optional just so that it doesn't eat up all my energy and if you remember in a previous episode we crafted up scrap so if you have the scrap and you get scrap by placing junk items in the top of a recycler and it'll then produce scrap every once in a while but the scraps very useful not only to make scrap bags but also if you stick the scrap underneath down here as you can see it amplifies it and we produce UU matter in a much faster and more efficient manner and we'll let this produce one piece of UU matter just so you guys can see what it looks like even though you saw it in the other machine but I believe about one stack of scrap is good is equivalent to about enough to make two UU 
matter real fast. So you guys are going to want to start building that scrap up and getting a bunch of UU matter because after we craft the nano suit, we'll shortly then be crafting the quantum suit. But that wraps this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, comment, or concerns, feel free to leave them below. If you liked the video, be sure to leave it a like. Like I said, that's all I got. This has been Too Cold, and I'm out. Peace.